Welcome back to the channel everyone. We're going to be taking a look at two different phones today and obviously it's the Samsung Galaxy S20, the phone that just came out like a week ago and we're going to be comparing it to none other than the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Now what's interesting about both these phones is first of all they're both Samsung phones and they're both the newest ones in their offering and this is the Note 10, the standard one, the base model one and the S20 is obviously the 5G variant, the, not the plus variant. And what's interesting about both these phones is that they're very, you know, kind of similar in a lot of different things. They both have, you know, the hole punch display in the center. They both have a lot of different things going for them. But there's one really, really interesting thing about them that really one is, it actually surprised me when I saw it. That is actually the price point. So the Samsung Galaxy S20, you know, right now it costs like a thousand dollars brand new. Um, you can go into a Best Buy, T-Mobile, AT&T, or Amazon and buy them from there. Whereas on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, when that thing came out, I think it was retailing for like $9.99 or $8.99 or $10.99, something like that. It was like $9.99 or something, right? Right now, the Note 10 is selling for about $528 on Amazon right now. And it's probably a little bit more. Maybe it's like $540 by the time you're watching this or something. But that is a crazy amount of depreciation to see on a phone within the first couple months. I mean, that thing was released whenever. Like, it wasn't even released that long ago. And it's already depreciated that much. I mean, this thing was released in August. And it hasn't even been a full year and we've almost seen like 50% depreciation on this thing which is crazy. So that is an insane amount of price to pay for a phone like that. The Note 10 is still very capable, don't get me wrong. It's still a very good phone at the end of the day, but that is definitely something super crazy that kind of threw me off when I looked at it. So between both, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 is probably the better value per dollar. So that is something to consider. So if you want to purchase either the S20 or the Note 10, I'll leave those linked down in the description below. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. But looking on the front, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 has a 6.3 inch dynamic AMOLED display. The sad thing is, is it is only a 1080p display, which isn't a crazy thing, you know, it could have been better or whatever, but it does have a 1080p display, and when I was using it, the display really wasn't too bad. I'm glad that it doesn't have a ton of crazy bezel on it, you know, it has that hole punch display in the center, but other than that, it's pretty capable of doing pretty much anything you're going to throw at it. Like I said, the sad thing is, is, is that it is only a 1080p display, but it's a pretty good 1080p display at that, you know, it's a pretty good full HD panel. Like I said, not a lot of bezel on it, so it still looks pretty good regardless regardless of what you're going to do with it. Whereas on the Samsung Galaxy S20, we have a 6.2 inch dynamic AMOLED display and that is a 1440p panel. And obviously between here, the Samsung Galaxy S20, I believe has the better panel. And it's something about the S20 and how it kind of is kind of circular on the sides and rounded on the sides versus the Note 10's kind of sharp edges. I don't really like that on the Note 10. I liked it on the Note 9 for some reason, but on the Note 10, it just seems a little bit too sharp for me, or maybe it just seems out of place. On the Galaxy S20, that's kind of a one design thing that that I saw. So the S20 I think did a better job at that, but the S20 also has a very, very cool feature of being able to display 120 hertz refresh rate on that display that it has and that is something that a lot of other phones do not have that is a crazy thing to consider and that is honestly one of the coolest features ever and so you can do 120 hertz at that 1080p but an update should be coming out soon to allow you to do 120 hertz at 1440p which will be really really cool so the display i'll definitely give it to the galaxy s20 which is weird because it's usually the opposite the note line usually has the better display but not in this case on the bottom they both have usb type c ports no head phone jacks in either of these phones. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10, you can see it does have the S Pen support, which is a very cool feature and not a, many phones in the market even have it. The Note line has it still and that's one of the coolest things ever and it, it you know, it's not like an end-all be-all, but it just adds a little bit more functionality into a device. So for sure, it's a definitely cool feature to consider for the Note 10. On the back, glass backs on both, reverse wireless charging on both devices, and you can see we have triple camera setups on both phones too, and for sure I don't think one blows the other one out of the water, but the Galaxy S20 is able to do a little bit more with that camera, but in terms of the way they feel in the hand and everything, they feel almost identical. The main thing to consider though, and this is a huge one, the Samsung Galaxy S20 does have a micro SD card slot, where the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 does not have one, which is a very very sad thing. I was actually pretty shocked where the Note 10 didn't have one. The Note 10 Plus has one, the top tier model, but but the Note 10 does not have one. Another thing to consider is that there's only one storage model of the Note 10, which is the 256 gigabyte model. So once you get that and you know you run out of storage or whatever, that's really pretty much it. You don't have any more ways to expand that storage. Whereas the Samsung Galaxy S20, the base model, there's only one model of it, the 128 model, but you are able to expand that storage with a micro SD card slot, which is a very important thing. So say what you will, do what you will, but that is a humongous thing to consider right there. So that really pretty much covers it up in terms of the outside and the bodies. 
They both have IP68 dust and water resistance. You can go up to one and a half meters of water for 30 minutes and all that good stuff. So like I said, I think that really pretty much covers it up there. Now hitting on the software, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, as you know, just was released in August. But the sad thing is, is that it won't be lasting as long as the Samsung Galaxy S20 in terms of stock software support and even probably in terms of, you know, the other support, custom ROMs and all that. The Note line has always been, you know, if it came out before the S line, then it usually doesn't match it. So the Note 10 will match the S10 kind of software for updates whereas on the samsung galaxy note 20 that might be coming out this year that will end up matching the same software updates as the galaxy s20 so if that makes any sense so the note 10 is technically one version behind of software than the s20 even though they both have one ui2 and all that they're getting one ui2 the note 10 will technically not last as long as the s20 which is a very weird thing samsung just needs to expand the software on all their phones i don't know what they're doing here they're doing like 50 50 like it's so confusing you know you're spending more money on a note line phone but it's technically lasting less time than this note than the s series like it makes no sense Samsung really needs to go ahead and fix that. It's just so annoying what they're doing here. The S20 in this case will definitely outlast the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 in terms of software, but like I said, it's not going to be like an end-all be-all. It's not going to be the craziest thing ever, but it will be a little bit of difference that you will have to consider at the end of the day. So in terms of software, the Samsung Galaxy S20 definitely wins here. Now in terms of the performance, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset, an octa-core CPU, and Adreno 640 GPU. There's only one model, the Note 10, with 8 gig gigabytes of RAM, but the Samsung Galaxy S20 has a Qualcomm Snapdragon A65 chipset, an octa-core CPU, and an Adreno 650 GPU, and again, only one model of the Galaxy S20, and that one has 12 gigabytes of RAM. And in terms of the performance, what I can tell you is, is that I'll start off with the Note 10. When I owned that thing, I was like, dude, this thing is still a very good performing phone. It's still extremely fast. There's really nothing to hate on it. Like, it's an extremely capable phone. And I kind of say the same thing with the S22, but with the Note 10, you know, it does its job. You know, it's still one of the the faster phones in the market and i can say that exact same thing with the samsung galaxy s20 it's an extremely fast phone you're getting 50 percent more ram on the samsung galaxy s20 over the note 10 so that's a really important thing to note the s20 will be the faster phone between both of these that'll be the more capable phone so that is a humongous thing to consider the samsung galaxy s20 will be the faster phone between both of these. But the main thing to consider too is that one thing I've been seeing, and I've been talking about this in a lot of my other videos, is that over time, Samsung phones kind of get lower and lower in their processing speeds, and they just get slower and slower over time. It's a really dumb thing, I really hate that but that is a humongous thing to consider. A phone like the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 is fast now, but it's, it will start showing its age very soon. Same thing with the Galaxy S20. I saw this with my Galaxy S10 recently and with my Galaxy S9 and Galaxy S8 and all those phones. Like they're fast when they come out first and then they get slower over time. And I didn't really see that until I got the S10 because I bought that brand new. And it's like every single like quarter, or like every couple months, I was able to see like it's slowing down. I'm like, wow, this is really weird. And now it's super choppy and everything. So in terms of performance the s20 is the faster one but maybe over time they'll end up leveling out and being this, you know, as slow as each other who knows so that covers it up there now hitting on the cameras the samsung galaxy note 10 has a triple camera setup a 12 megapixel wide angle lens 12 megapixel telephoto lens and then a 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor but the samsung galaxy s20 has a 12 megapixel wide angle lens 64 megapixel telephoto lens and then a 12 big and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor and in terms of both cameras what i can tell you is is that both cameras do an excellent job they're both very very good sensors at the end of the day but the samsung galaxy s20 has the advantage of being able to shoot 8k videos which is insane and not a lot of phones in the market have that capability and that is a humongous thing to consider in the future i'm sure everyone's probably going to be you know shooting 8k who knows like 4k so not even the standard but that is definitely a really cool feature that you have on the s20 that you don't have on the note 10 on the front 10 megapixel sensors on both we are able to shoot 4k at 60 frames on the samsung galaxy s20 where we can only do 4k at 30 on the note 10 and in terms of the cameras that really pretty much covers it i might make a separate camera test if i feel like it but i probably won't unless you guys want to see it but that pretty much covers it up in the camera department. Now ending it off with the battery life, the Samsung Galaxy S20 has a 4,000 mAh battery, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 has a 3,500 mAh battery, and like I said before, it's funny because the Note 10 used to be like this gold standard of battery life performance, but now it's kind of switched with the S line, and the S20 has the better battery life for sure. Even if you have the 120Hz refresh rate on it, I still think the S20 might be the better battery life by a little bit. They both have reverse wireless charging and all that, so you're pretty much set there, and I think in terms of the battery life, I would probably end up giving it to the Samsung Galaxy S20. Now to kind of sum up the video and to answer the comparison, should you pick up a Samsung Galaxy S20, should you get a Note 10, all this jazz, I'll tell you, if you wait 
wait a couple months, you might want to pick up an S20. I feel like those prices are going to appreciate quite a bit, like the Note 10 prices have. But I will tell you, the better value per dollar, I think right now, is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. That phone costs less than $550. It's a very good price to pay. It's a very capable phone still. And the S20, like I said, is, is you know, the cream of the crop. It's the best phone probably out there right now. It has so many features. But if you don't want to spend that much money, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 is a very good second place phone between these. Or if you want to go the S route, you can still pick up a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus for even cheaper than both of these phones. You can pick it up for like less than $500. So I'll leave a link to all three of these phones in the com in the description below so you can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. But that is pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.